For those of you new to 4D ultrasound imaging, there's some concepts that you need to understand that aren't really intuitive because you've always been trained in a different way about how to see the ultrasound. So what we have here is what's called a phantom, and it's just a fake baby, about a 22-week fetus here. And so when you're doing normal scanning, turn up the gain so you can see it better. The way this probe is designed is there is a probe right through here. It's just like a standard ultrasound probe. The only difference between this and a standard ultrasound probe is the fact that this can sweep back and forth, and we'll get to that in a minute. So we have our probe marker here, and let's say the baby's in a vertex position. When we scan, you'll see on the image that it is giving me a profile of the baby. It's showing the nose up. And actually what it's doing is it's actually just showing you a slice of the baby. Think of it like a slice of bread. So if this is a loaf of bread, this probe is taking that element and shooting it straight down and giving me a slice right through the baby's head. So as I scroll down, you're seeing a very thin slice of everything I do. Now the difference between this and 4D is that 4D is like taking an entire loaf of bread. So instead of just taking a slice of the baby here, what it will do is it will sweep back and forth and just show me the surface of that loaf of bread. So when I go into 4D, and I'll show you how to do all this in just a minute, but when we go into 4D, on the left it's showing me the slice that it's looking at, and on the right it's showing me the full surface rendering of that baby. So what it's doing now is just showing me the surface. So it's like showing me the top of the loaf of bread. On the left, we're seeing the slice. On the top, we're just seeing the entire surface. As it scans back and forth, it is taking the surface that and giving you an image that way. And that's the basic fundamental concept of how to do 4D imaging and understanding why when most techs first do 4D, they're used to showing a profile here. Go back to 2D. And this doesn't show it very well, but typically they're looking this way, and you would see the orbits of the eyes right there. And you can see that right there on the image. They're used to showing the orbits of the eyes, and it looks like the baby's looking out. But again, what this is doing is it's just taking a slice right across the top of the face there. So what it's actually showing you is if you just cut off the baby's face right through there, it would show you the orbits of the eyes. So by doing this, thinking that that is the look that they're looking for, when they go to 4D, they can't figure out why the image is terrible. Because actually what it's doing is now it's rendering the side of the baby's face. So now I can see the orbits of the eyes in the 4D image. And on the 2D, let me see if I can get that again. So there on the 2D is, are the orbits of the eyes. And so you'll see on the right-hand side in the 4D, the baby's actually looking this way. Where here it looks like it's looking up. It's rendering that surface, and since the baby is looking this way, you can now think of it, when you go to 4D, like it's a flashlight on the baby's face. So what you want to do with the 2D is get kind of an orientation of where the baby is, and so when you get in 4D, that nose pointing up, that's how you're going to see the baby's face. So you want to get, ideally, that nose pointing up, and fluid between, and fluid in front of the face, and we'll explain this in the, in the next video as well, in the 4D ultrasound video. But that's the basic concept of how to do 4D imaging and why 4D looks the way it does and why the first time you try it, it often doesn't seem to work. So that's the key to 4D, and you can check out our other training videos about how to perform 4D imaging.